What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to draw loose structure for NF3, nitrogen fluoride. So the first thing I need to do, I need to identify the central atom, which is usually the element with the highest bonding capacity. Let's find out the bonding capacity of both nitrogen and fluorine. We have nitrogen and we have fluorine. Nitrogen, we have five valence electrons as you see here and uh, fluorine we have seven valence electrons one two three four five six seven so the bonding capacity for nitrogen is one two three we don't count the pair and the bonding capacity for fluorine is one so what we need to do i need to write the symbol for central atom and then arrange the symbols of the atoms for the rest of the elements so i have n like that and put all these three f's around it then what we need to do, we need to add the number of valence electrons available in an atom of each of the elements. So total number of valence electrons. It's going to be 5 plus 3 times 7. That's going to make it as 26. And what I need to do, I need to have NF3 like that and place a pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms. So we have two here, two here, and two here. Then next step would be place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms, not the central atoms, surrounding atoms. And follow the duet rule for hydrogen atoms and octet rule for the other elements. So we have one, two, 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 one, two. So then what we need to do, we need to find out the available number of electrons so we have 26 minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 times 2 24 so we have still two more electrons to use so in this case we need to put this place the remaining electrons on the central atom in pairs so it's gonna be here the rest is going to be the same. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. It's going to be like that. And then at the end, we replace shared electrons with dash. So it's going to be N lone pair dashes F, F, F lone pair, lone pair, lone pair. Lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, and lone pair. So that's the loose structure of nitrogen fluoride. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding math, chemistry, and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.